All right. Aloha, everybody from the YouTube channel. Hey, everybody on Twitch. I know you guys love to do it all the time. Go ahead and say hello to the YouTube channel. We're going to be making a video today on Hanra. Yeah, so I was randomly going through my, my storage and I was like, you know what? I want to make somebody new and just make somebody for fun. So I was like, let's let's do let's do the Dark Beast Hunter. Uh, I mean, he got like a recent change, right? So, I mean, I've never made one like this before. So I want to go ahead and uh, mess around with it and play with him. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the, uh, the skills here. These are his, his stats, right? I'll talk a little bit more why um, I have him ruined with like a lot of attack, a lot of uh, decent amount of crit rate and a lot of crit damage and why he has no speed. And we'll talk about it in just a second here. So his skills basically skill one attacks an enemy to inflict damage that ignores all damage reduction effects. So that's really good against, I mean, the first thing you can think of is like, you know, Darien or Diaz or like uh, Zing Zay, like the Wind Monkey King's passive, right? Skill two. Of course, it's not maxed yet, right? This, this skill 2 is not maxed yet. Uh, attacks an enemy to weaken the defense and disturb each recovery for 2 turns. Where I can see this viable is potentially like PvE areas of the game, like Elemental Rifts. Uh, maybe Elemental Rifts, as well as um, Raids, right? You could use them there. But for the purpose of what I'm building him for and what he's ruined for, I'm going to be trying to test him out in Guild Wars. Third skill, this is the one of interest here, consumes half of your current HP to inflict damage that ignores enemy defense. So anytime there's a skill that ignores defense, Right? It has potential to do a lot of damage because you, you don't really care about one major factor and that's the factor of putting defense break. The only factor you care about is if you crit and if you have attack buff. That's it. Right? So we're going to see how much damage this does. Uh, it is maxed. It's not doesn't have the cooldown max, but it has a damage max, which is nice. Um, if your HP is full when it's your turn, desperate arrow cooldown time will reset. So basically, if you have full HP, you'll still have the skill. But... It consumes half the HP. So how are we going to do that? I ruined him on Vampire. Okay? So you're looking at the stats and you're thinking, oh, maybe it's on Rage or something like that. It's on Vampire. Okay? It's on Vampire with almost 200% crit damage. Right? And I ruined him straight attack, crit damage, attack. Nothing special. Uh, the last thing is his leader skill, which is an arena. I think this is not going to be too relevant. But, yeah. So we're just mainly going for this, this skill right here. Desperate Arrow. Yeah? Desperate Arrow. This is the main skill. So... Now you must be asking, okay, so you discussed about the skills, you discussed about the stats, now why is it ruined with like no speed? I was thinking you might be able to do two different combos, right? First off, one combo kind of goes against the the, the vampire set here. And that combo is a Jamire attack bar booster like Taeon or Konamiya into Hanra, right? Uh, Jamire attack bar booster like Konamiya or Taeon into Hanra, right? You boost up the Hanra, that's why you need no speed. You nuke something. Jemire, you know, cleanses, resets, you go again. So technically, you don't really need to be built on Vampire um, to have this third skill up again, right? But then I thought, okay, I, I can do Jemire, Taeon, Hanra, right? But a lot of people out there don't have Jemire. So what can you do? You know, what's more viable? What's more possible? The only thing I could think of right now, there might be other options though, is to run Taeon and Konami. Why not? No leader skill in Guild Wars, right? Taeon and Konomiya. So basically, Taeon or Konomiya boosts Hanra. Hanra nukes. He heals from the, the damage he does, right? And then after that, Konomiya boosts him. And then he nukes again. So you can literally take out two units in your first turn. Usually you're gonna usually you're gonna bring this up against teams where you know your Konomiya and your Taeon will move first. Right? I think this is this is gonna be fun. So I'm curious to see how much damage he does, um, especially in Guild Wars. But before that, maybe. We should test it in TOA. I don't know. Huh? Let's, t let's test it in TOA. Okay. Uh, we can pick pretty much uh, any stage in TOA because we're going to ignore defense. Right? It doesn't matter. So I'm curious to see how much damage it does. Keep in mind, when we do this in TOA, this is only with glory towers, right? The uh, the uh, the dark attack glory tower, the, atta uh, the attack uh, glory tower, the crit damage glory tower. This does not factor in flags when we go in guild wars, which is like 20%. More attack and 20% more crit damage or something like that. So keep that in mind. Uh, so this this is kind of the, the combo we're using. I wish there was like a guild leader skill. Like this was like like global 16% crit rate skill. I think that'd be fairly reasonable. You know? So we're going to test it out. Some people have told me already when I was building it uh, that I'm going to regret it. And it's going to be a mistake. But I still wanted to build anyways. I was almost there done with him. So I was like we're going to fully use him anyways. Yeah. Alright let's boost him up here. And this is skill, Desperate Arrow. <laughs> this better do a lot of damage, man. <laughs> desperate Arrow.
30 to 31 K. Regret it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so it's gonna do a little more than that. Uh, let's give a reasonable estimate that it'll, it will hit maybe 35k in Guild Wars. So the teams that I wanted to bring this against were teams that have like Feng Yan, right? Feng Yan leader skill that has defense lead and tanky teams that you know you can nuke and you can uh, kill Feng Yan and whatever other unit. So, hmm. Maybe I need a leader skill with him. Yeah. How much? I'm, I'm curious to see if I was just to throw in a uh, a random uh, a, ra a random a random leader skill in here. How, how much more damage it would it do? Just just for just for testing. Just for testing. Right. Thirty three percent more attack. I'm curious to see uh, how much we how much more we do. Okay. Thirty four, almost thirty five. Wait. That was a mistake. Okay. Just, just, just. Okay, here we go. 34, 34, 35. Okay. So I'm curious to see what the Guild War Towers will do. I think 30 something thousand damage is still pretty good, and it's actually gonna be enough to kill Fang Yans. So hopefully we can bring it in. The whole the whole plan or goal, especially with these comps in Guild Wars, is to nuke something immediately. Yeah, get, 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 get the advantage on your opponent, like 2v3, like 3v2 or 3v1, maybe, right? So, uh, we did take a look at this guy, and we said maybe we can use it against him, right? Maybe we can use it against him, especially on this second team. Uh, so, we'll try it out here, and yeah, we'll see how it fares, and we'll see if it was a good decision or not to build him. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do for the first team is... What do I want to do for the first team? We're just going to use a standard comp. I use this comp a lot. It's uh, pretty safe. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and use this first comp here. I'll clear out this first one. We'll test out the second one. What stats going to... Wait. Oh, this is a mistake. I realized that's a Bastet. And my Bastet is... My, my Konami and my Terrans are not faster than his Bastet. Oh, that's kind of bad. Oh, that's actually really bad. Okay, uh, mistakes are made. Wait, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. There's no way that uh, oh, why is it on oh, one time? There's no way that I'm gonna be I'm gonna be faster, dude. There's no there's no way. There's absolutely no way. Did I not crit? What the hell? That seemed like mediocre damage. There's no way this is gonna okay. All right, let, let me let me just see. Maybe the Bastet will derp or something. I I, I don't know. I don't even know. We'll see. Let, let me let me let me clear this first. Right, let's see here. Kill this. I, I love this team. This team is so safe. Yeah, brings uh the ability to put defense break by two units. You know, brings some heals, brings cleanse in. Yeah, I have a unit here that can tank a lot of damage. Right, do a lot of damage. Stun. I have oblivion. This is one of my favorite combos to use. Oh. Okay, okay, we cut though. Okay, we cut. But that there is now the factor of not being able to see the full damage due to the fact that there is a shield on Feng Yan. Okay, we're still gonna boost them up and we're gonna still see if we can nuke them. Okay, so keep in mind the damage that's about to come out is after the shield. Well, on the bright side, we can kill him. But hey, can you not?
Hey guys, welcome back to another video today. We're actually gonna be doing a test on Hanra. This is the first time we're checking this out. Um, this is the first time we're uh, playing with Hanra here. It's kind of a unit that I wanted to test around and play around with. I'm not sure if he's gonna be good, but we're gonna go ahead and test him out today. Our, our goal is to kind of reset him and go ahead and uh, use him to ignore defense. Maybe we could kill a unit with it, yeah? Let's go ahead and test it out. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and use this first, uh, beat this first, uh, like, uh, attack here. It's, fuck. Okay, maybe this was a mistake. Maybe this is a mistake, okay? But now, you see? Now you know, okay, that he's not that good, okay? And you know that because I tested it, yeah? He's not that good. He's not that good, yeah? What did you change, Calm, to us? You didn't change doo-doo. You never know till you try, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, basically. But, but what did they change? Like, I feel like the multiplier is still so trash on it, man. How you, how do you, how will you a third skill ignore defense? Yeah, but this is good. It's good we test it out so we can tell calm to us, right? Let's, we, we are going to use this video as a fail, as well as we're going to use this video as a way to discuss exactly what I want to talk about right after we try to use them again for the second time, okay? If first you don't succeed, try, try again. And then realize it doesn't work. Okay, we're going to boost up here. The, the, the combo was supposed to be Taeon and Kodamiya. Okay, it's not supposed to be with this Jemire. Because it kind of defeats the purpose of being on Vampire. Okay. Alright. We gotta nuke this guy. 35k? That's it? With crit damage, max tower, and attack percent max tower in Guild Wars? That's pretty doodoo, man. That's pretty doodoo. Desperate Arrow, yeah. Oh my god, that is a really, really tanky Tessarian. Holy smokes. <clears throat> uh, can I... Like, boost? Yeah, I can boost. The, oh, this ignores... Oh, this ignores all damage reduction effects. <laughs> this is actually what we wanted to test. We wanted to see how much aim body does, ignoring all damage reduction effects. 8k. Saw that? Yeah, that's a, what hello can you can you like not go like 80 times yeah exactly what we wanted to test yeah let's check let's check out skill two. your aim head look at that oh 11k poggers yeah it can can you here we go here we go here we go we'll show you one more time okay we'll show you one time aim body check it out 8k saw that insane yeah hanra is the reason why we just won this guild wars thank you thank you for watching it's awesome excellent yeah. Oh, look. Someone even got a Fuko. Yeah. Today's a great day. Anyways, okay. Let's talk about this real quick here. Yeah. I brought this up. Uh, now we know. Okay. Hanra is actually really bad. Yeah. Really bad. For a unit that's a three star. Okay. LD. All right. You have to keep in mind. Sometimes there's regular. I, I always consider LD units to have like a slight one up on the other element units. Right. True. False. So a three star LD should be slightly one up. Potentially than regular. Yeah, regular. Threes. Right? As well as the fact that it is a third skill. Yeah, third skill. Keep in mind, first skill, second skill, third skill. They should actually be stronger or more or more OP as they move on. Right? Third skill should be more OP than the second skill. And it's a third skill, ignore defense, that has a detrimental. Yes, I use that word. Detrimental factor of consuming half of your HP. To nuke. Half. To nuke. To ignore defense. Okay? And it only does that amount of damage. That multiplier. Which was actually complete trash. Because as you can see here, the crit damage is fairly high. The attack is fairly high. Those, those should be some of the biggest factor towards uh, the multiplier on how much damage it's going to do to any particular target. So, I mean, you could, you could probably ruin maybe better than this, right? More attack or more crit damage. But the amount that you're going to gain is so minimal. Yeah, so... It just feels so lackluster leading up to this, yeah? Compared to, let's just say, a Elemental. Whether it's the Fire one, a lot of people know Kali, or Elena, the Water Elemental. Where Skill 2 ignores defense. Not even a Skill 3. Okay, first off, this is a main element unit, not an LD, right? Main element. Three star as well. Skill 2, not Skill 3, right? As well as skill two that doesn't consume half of your HP. There's no, there's no like extra factor to it. Huh? 
I think that's they, I think that's ridiculous. Yeah, three turn cooldown when this has a stupid thing that you know reduces the cooldown if you're not um if you're if you're full HP, as well as uh, it's a three turn cooldown regardless. And the other one is a freaking skill too. Huh? The damage from a Kali or a uh, Elena is far greater. Now you can see right here what uh. Uh, crit damage is 189 attack is uh, slightly more right just a little more yeah but it is a little bit less than crit damage watch how much a uh, uh, one of these will hit yeah just this uh, this high, ele high elemental skill 2 now let me show you forty one K outside of guild wars forty one K Outside of Guild Wars. Okay, I don't have it again. No. 41k. So, it's just... This is not enough comp to us. The way you can make this better is you need to give this a crazier multiplier, man. Because the amount of time, runes, and setup I put into this is very detailed. It, it, it should be able to hit harder than that. I mean, at least 45k. At least... Sim even if it was similar, that'd be such a... It would just be a fun toy. It wouldn't be that good. But at least similar to a high elemental second skill, man. Yeah, please, please. So overall, yeah, end of the day, Hanra is a uh, no-go. Yeah, Hanra is a no-go. If you guys are thinking about building him, uh, don't. Yeah, but still keep one in storage. I always recommend to keep people to keep one of each LD3. You never know when they're going to buff it and uh, make it good. You never know when you want to, you know, uh, build up a random LD3, waste all your time, waste your resources, which waste your mana to like swap runes, power up those runes, root them up, set them up, make a Guild Wars video, and then it get embarrassed in front of the stream and the video while you make the content. Now, you never know when you might want to do that. So make sure you keep all those different LD3s in storage. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, but anyways, everybody on the YouTube channel, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Everybody from Twitch, go ahead and say bye bye to YouTube. Yeah, we'll catch you guys. Actually, leave a comment below on, you know what? I'm curious to hear uh, this particular uh, comment. Leave a comment and let me know if you have ever built something and it's been lackluster. I'm curious if you've ever built something and it's just been complete doo-doo. Yeah, not what you expected. Yeah, but anyways, make sure you leave that comment, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next live streamer video. Bye bye, YouTube. Peace out.